All right, everybody, I think we got that worked out. All kinds of issues. I had a false start. If that ever happens again, you guys get kicked off. Just come on back. Uh, best thing to do in that situation is hit the like button, subscribe, join the channel. Uh, you know, if we have problems or if I jump on unexpectedly because the markets are going to explode tomorrow 10% in one day. Or even better, maybe we got major things happening in crypto like Binance coin and uh, FTT, this FTX thing. That's quite a situation, but what do the patterns say? They say a lot. A lot just so much going on from a pattern perspective. I want to jump into the crypto because I think it's a lot of patterns triggered. Now you got reactions all over the place and, you know, now things are going to get interesting. Now they are. And the relative position of where they are, uh, it, it, depending on what coin you're looking at, remember we've been going through that top five. And we'll do that. But first, before I get to FTX or anything like that, let's go to Total Crypto. Remember the deep crab pattern we had on the daily? Like that little mini pattern? Yeah. Now that becomes even more important. And look what happened on the reaction just in the last 24 hours. Hit target one, actually bounced right off of target two. Fairly remarkable. And so the levels start tightening up even more. And this is where things get... Uh, I, I think, you know, the time is starting to squeeze. Time is starting to squeeze this whole scenario. It really looks ugly. You get reactions like we had today, and it just doesn't look healthy. But then you get you bounce off of stuff like this. Uh, Got to respect the levels. We're not there yet, you know? I mean, if we're looking for the end of the world in crypto, if something's going to completely crap out, we know where that's at. That's under Bitcoin, under 19.4, which it retested. Yeah, it hit that 19.4, Crypto Hammer. That's right. What's going on, chat? Great to see everybody. Hey, Neil, if you want a Volume 2, come on Thursday. We'll give away some more Volume 2s. And for those that are waiting on books, yes, the Volume 3s are back ordered. The Volume 2s are going out for those that won those. We'll probably give away more Volume 2s on Thursday. So be the first one and type in V2 on Thursday and you'll win a book. We'll do V2 on Thursday. David V, G Dog UK, Swooping Hawk, Miss Stephanie, what's happening? How are you? Cody, thank you. Great to see everybody. Yeah, Thursday, we'll give away the books. We're here Monday, Tuesday, Thursday at 12 noon. And I'll go for close to the full hour. I got some things to happen uh, happening today that I've got to get out a touch early. Thanks, Dan. Happy Tuesday to you too. Absolutely. So look. We left off with crypto yesterday. Let's start with crypto today. Uh, total crypto market cap. Amazing. This is your immediate pattern. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters now on crypto. Tell me what these levels are going to do. No confirmation anywhere here, but we're still in the 1-2 framework. Love the 1-2 framework. Type 1 down to target 2 in this instance, which is actually... Pretty common for crypto, especially on the bar when you hit it. You know, here's there's the one daily bar where we hit target one on the day, and it goes all the way down to target two. Now we're going to come back and what? Try to retest hop levels. Maybe go for a type two, and then we deal with something next week like that. Very well could be that. You know, we're all over the place. But that's total crypto market cap. And some of the better ones, like total three, something to look at here because these had lots of patterns. Lots and lots of patterns. Total three has a couple. There's a deep crab down here. We know the smaller bullish, uh, bullish, excuse me, larger bearish bullish crab, followed by a bearish bat. Now just going sideways, trying to get up to retest that bat again at 453, but last two three days got rejected off of you know just this resistance 
not getting out of the zone, not going to do anything just yet. Total DeFi, I think that's even better. Yeah, look at that. Total DeFi had the crab, just like Total Index, and it did a Type 1 reaction. You, I mean, so many things going on here. You had a shark pattern. It led you to a bearish crab. Now we're getting rejected off the crab. Maybe we, you know, it would have been great had we hit that zone. We'd be fully in a type two off the shark. Uh, tough action. If we don't have patterns on this chart, we, this is all up and down, undecipherable. But let's just trace it out. Type one, type two. You know, do we come back down for that retest on the shark for total DeFi? This is like all the indices. It's just that DeFi and Total 3 probably have the best structures of all. So, you know, let's let's uh, just stick to the patterns. Still says a whole lot of reactions have to occur before anything's going to really crack it. But let's go through that top five. Top five is like this. Okay, for speculative purposes, we said Doge. And we said Doge would go lower. Well, it sure did. Down to here, did it get to the hop? Oh, way below the hop. Remember the uh, hop level? We talked about this yesterday. That was my arrow from yesterday. Type 1, reaction, back down. No HSI. That's a darn shame. Maybe on a 30-minute, but 1047 on Doge, if you're going to do anything... And if this market's going to speculate, it's the only reason why I put Doge number one, because it's, is that, that speculative fervor going to come back into the market? It could be shown in the likes of Doge or uh, SHIB, but we've been sideways to down since the crab. So let's look at that. First pattern in a while on the hourly. Uh, number two was Ethereum. What's Ethereum done, folks? Are we getting into that type 2 retest now? Sure, it looks like it's starting. That's been the chart for Ethereum. And probably, harmonically, within the framework, it's probably better than Doge. And Doge has been, uh, you know... Uh, all right, hanging up there. You got to be kind of impressed with it, just the fact that it hasn't gone all the way back to five cents. But Ethereum now in the type two phase. We talked about this last few days that it's there. You know, let that come back. Twelve twenty-five. Uh, this is just could be a first crack. And the type two Gartley on the on Ethereum. Look, the major opportunity. We keep saying this is going to be there on the retest with some confirmation, or even a little bit lower. And how many of these patterns have we seen if it's Amazon or Google or whatever? A lot of Type 2s that have to come back and retest. That's Ethereum. Keep an eye on that one. Uh, number three was Binance Coin. And Binance Coin is doing things that are at areas where it shouldn't. Look at this. I know the whole saga. Most of you probably know even more about it than me. About FTX and you know what Binance Coin has done. Dumped all their FTX to drive that. Well, I'll show you FTX in a minute. But um, this is supposed to be going down with a one, two, three bearish candles. Okay, this is an abnormality that you're looking at right here. Is it the start of something? Keep an eye on it. It very well could. It very well could be uh, the first failure we have seen in a long time of a bearish pattern. True failure. Because you have confirmation and everything there. Tough. Uh, didn't get... I would have preferred to seen that get to target one at 297 and then explode. Even if that was a huge candle wick. Because that, for me, would have satisfied the whole 5-0 structure be a continuation, potential massive failure. And look at, you know, where you are with HSI. You're back above those levels where HSI has already let out all of its steam. These, This is an area, especially with Amplified expanding. Look, Binance Coin 
let's probably move that up to number one. Let's. I'm going to shift the order today. I think Binance Coin for the potential failure that's going on here is probably more significant than even the Ethereum check back. Can can Binance Coin really bust out here? And I do think that Binance Coin is going to come out of this bear market the leader by far. Amazing. Uh, and I'm going to throw something crazy up. All right? I, I really am. I, I, let's get crazy, okay? Why not? What does something like, you know, some kind of structure like this to get us back to an 886? Because Binance Coin's showing us what it should do after the trend line break. Take a look. Again, early. We're early stages. This is the thing about crypto that been really tough. It looks a lot of these coins look terrible. A lot of these markets look like they're going to go to zero, quite frankly. But then you get your larger coins and you get your bigger trend development like Binance coin here. That this is a BAM breakout, folks. It's the first BAM breakout where you've had initial low, you get to a B point here at a 55, you get a C point, and then you get the breakout. So where can that go? 886, off of that swing easily. That's why Binance Coin's so huge and goes to the number one spot. Um, someone's saying it looks like Huji Whammer saying it's a uh, rising three methods. Not not really. Um, the rising three methods. You need a you need like two back to back bullish engulfings. Go talk to Mitch tonight. Go see Mitch. Mitch is the Mitch is the Japanese candlestick pattern master. He's, I, I gotta think he's better than me. I mean, I know candlesticks. I think Mitch knows them better than me. Uh, but I don't, that's not a three rising three methods on the daily chart, excuse me, on the monthly chart. All right. Take a look at this. It, it is almost, almost a rising three methods. Let me clean it up. You really need three candles. You need one bullish engulfing here, one, two, three, and another bullish engulfing. So it's not really fit within the pattern, but Again, monthly chart, how it's going through this year has been difficult, right? Everybody, it's been a difficult crypto year. Okay, but we come out the other side of it. Is this the other side of it? Could, could we even, can I even do something here? Are you, are you guys going to be offended if I do a moon boy shot? Can we do something like this? You know, that, that all-time retracement is 75%. Can we do something like that? Are we looking at an all-time ABCD, the start of? That's how important it is. I think you take it in, in chunks and say, certainly off of the uh, March, what's that, the March high? Yeah, late March, that's your target. With this stuff breaking out on Binance Coin, and we we've talked about these daily patterns, how critical they were. That's a failure in the making, and it's a massive candle that says there's a lot of buyers there. Uh, can it become a crab? Yes, it can. Sure can. G Dog saying that was three white soldiers, probably. Yeah, uh, the, on the Binance thing, on the weekly. But again, look. Talk weekly. At least you have several bars of development here since the low. And here's the interesting thing. Look, even if we were going to try to tag Binance Coin for some kind of HSI check back right there, there's no bearish candle. One bearish candle, two bearish candles. This is going up where it should be forming a bearish candle. So intend for this thing to be a serial move. Week over week, higher highs, higher lows, and bump your stops. Binance Coin's probably not going back under 300 for a long time. 
a lot to consider there. And I, I, I'd still say that there are these uh, other big coins that probably even more important than than Bitcoin. But that's the first time we've seen a major breakout development in any of these, anything major like that, probably since last year, probably since early 2021. That's big. Okay, that was three. Number four was Bitcoin. And look, daily chart, is everything is squeezed into this zone. Didn't even get to target one on this move, but you did check back to the PRZ right there, 19.4. That's it. I mean, I don't, again, I said yesterday, bump the stops, bump the stops. And that'll be bump the stop to where uh, Bitcoin should not go under today's low, folks. You should not see this thing come back under that 19.2 again. That should be a shakeout, and this should start to resume. Doesn't have to do too much, but look, HSI is going in the wrong way. Amplified still going down. Your RSI readings are still, you know, they're still pointing down like this. So this could take a little bit more time, but can we get a trigger and stay above 19.4 would be really helpful. Uh, David saying, what did I say in 2020, uh, 2010? Oh, in the volume two book. Yes. In that original book. Yeah, I did make that prediction when it was a 10 K to go to 36. Maybe we should do that on Thursday. We'll check that out. I'll, I'll bring that up on Thursday, David. That was, I think in the first edition, I don't know if that made it in the second edition. But that's all measurements. That's what we're trying to do here. Look, market's nuts. And you got a bunch of lunatics like completely running policy currently that want to destroy the very things that make the economy go for whatever reason. They're not going to stay around for too much longer. Thank goodness. But against all of that logic and reason, you know, we're, we will turn a corner. It's just positioning yourself at the right point when we we truly will. The last one I was been talking about uh, is Cosmos. And it's going to come back for the type two on the daily. Remember a couple of patterns there, but this is these are our lines from just yesterday. So that has started. So Cosmos been really strong, but our next opportunity doesn't come in until about 11 bucks. Hey, Scotty, what's happening? Yeah, it is nuts. It really is nuts. It's, um, you know, it's, it is an environment that is uh, confounding, but this is also why, as I said yesterday, we want to wait for confirmation. We want to wait for one, two days, three days of proof before this, uh, you know, it really the whole market can can give us the evidence, the individual evidence of uh, potential turnaround. Everybody wants this to change. Everyone wants the elections to change everything. I'm right there, probably first in line. I, I want policy to be different so that the market can actually get constructive again. This is market destruction. But market goes through those phases, folks, and it's an ugly time. Market destruction phase, which is happening now, um, you, you have to be patient. We have to wait for our signals. As I said yesterday, everything should be taken on an individual basis. Even though like FTX and Binance, yeah, that's related. I'm still looking at those individually. Now here's FTX. Or FTT, you know, that's that token. Uh, should we should we trust FTT data from Binance? I don't think so. Maybe we should go to finance, get the FTX data from FTX. Or maybe not, because maybe they're fudging their numbers. But there's lots of patterns. Look at all these patterns here on FTT. Big. Let me trace it out. Gartley, bang, perfect type one. Perfect. Perfect type one. Confirmation, everything, 36 up to, what was that? 
52, and then right back down where we finally hit the hop today on that Gartley, which is amazing, at 20 bucks. You have a couple smaller patterns. You had a dud of a shark. Uh, but the way I would look at that, look at all the hop levels. Hop level, hop level, hop level. Even if we just kind of generally tell me what they're tell me where the hop range is. You have several patterns here, even though it can be all the way back here. Look, there's four hop levels between 18 and uh, essentially 20. Three dollars. It's a rather wide range. Oh, look, there's even that prior shark. That's a lot of patterns, and that means something, folks. It really does. But you're down here, no confirmation yet. HSI is going to hit, but wait, wait a day. Wait two. That has to come out of the zone. At least the HSI is down there. Now you're in the ballpark, uh, and the weekly has this. So there's structures there. Hop level at 12.95 uh, that could get hit, but we need a single bar. So let this thing come down. Whatever whatever's going to happen there, who knows? Because it could flush out, could do another Luna, go to a dollar or less. Um, but these are your constraints. Okay, those you're still in the constraint of the downtrend, even if we wanted to do something like that. And just brush it up against here. You know, we need a confirmation. Need a confirmation. And why wouldn't FTX do an 886 like all the rest? Came out a dollar. It's amazing. 886 is all the way down here. At, yeah, 1050. Wouldn't be surprising. Just let it let it do its thing. Um, watching this, watching Binance Coin, yeah, that's the way to go. Binance Coin, you you want to be a cheerleader for Binance Coin for the whole crypto market. You want Binance Coin to basically put all of this bearish, bearishness on its back and make a move. Here's another one. Look at Band. This Band is threatening to do another thrust move. Okay, and you want to see more of this. You don't want to see that band roll right over and do nothing, but it looks like it's trying to act up a little bit. Uh, the other one we've mentioned that we want to be focused on, Brave token. Basically, in 30 cents, the big numbers are 26, 28, anywhere under 30. It was under 30 earlier today. Um, again, these are the ones that have on the radar. To be looking. Are we down there yet? No. Couple more. Uh, the other one that I was highlighting was Algo. Why? It's. We talked about delayed reactions yesterday, and this is definition of a delayed one 36 cents. How many times has that popped and come back? Maybe we come back one more time and get another HSI up here. Not there yet, but. Closely, keep an eye on this. What else? Yeah, Doquan's in is hiding out in in Sam's treehouse right now. What's going on, Matt Chase? What's going on, Tails? It flies, it dies. How are you guys doing? No, we uh, Scotty is asking, have we ever seen this volatility? We'll get to the VIX in a second. Um, it's not that. Uh, the volatility is actually fairly tame for what's happening. It's just been destruction without a lot of follow through. Um, you're creating holes in a lot of charts that are not, you know, like the FTX thing is just another one. Uh, like other other assets and stocks, other crypto, still blowing up. One or two more. Here's this Cody thing. It looked like it was going to try to to run, and I know weekly should be something here on a weekly. Sorry, weekly or daily. It's another one of these small ones. No, I'm wrong on that one. Oh, no, not Cody. It's uh, Crypto.com. 
so this is a super poster child of delayed reactions, but look what this did. So now, I think I mentioned this yesterday, we're real close to uh, getting your one and two. And if, if we could come back one more time on crypto.com, that would be two of two. Retesting the, the small bat uh, within this larger crab zone. So you're really fighting for survival on some of these. In doing so, you're going to get a lot of gyration. You're going to get we, we are still going to follow type 1, type 2. So even on these small patterns, we want to see that come back. Check back. Uh, oh, there was one or two more that I, I came across recently. This is the Civic. Look at this. Is that even a real candle? Regardless, it's this deep crab on the daily. Okay. Basically numbers between 11 and 12. But I thought that was fairly interesting. I think that's yeah, it's better even on this chart. Um, if you're just looking for those small little S coins that are sitting in zones, sitting in areas what where they have confirmation, can you be patient with it? I think that's uh, the best way to be patient with it is to get as close to the trigger as possible. If you're not in something like CVC. Let it come back down. The next HSI test are oversold. And then look to be getting into this zone area. If you get a pop where it goes from 10 to 15 cents, then you know manage accordingly. Wouldn't be surprised. But at least you have potential where Binance Coin could get out of a hole. And I mean a big hole. You know, 368, got to see how this closes today, closes the week. Let's go to the weekly chart. There you go. How about three-bar reversal? How about your third three-bar reversal breakout in a row? Meaning, look at your three-bar range. One, two, three, breakout. Last week, one, two, three. The prior week, a lot of, you know, continuing to break out. You need to be above 365 by Sunday night. And I, again, let's target 430. That's the 886 off of this April swing. Okay. Not too worried about that. If anything, the FTT, give it time. Binance coin, it's saying it wants to be strong and fail those patterns. We'll get back to that on Thursday. Uh, I think I got to jump to the obvious. Look, the macro environment. Oh, wrong chart. Here we go. Here it is. Oh, let me go back. Let's jump over to daily NASDAQ, folks. Sorry, two-hour chart that we've been following has been this bat pattern. Posted that on Twitter. I actually have been following this for the last two weeks on both sides. This, we first had this... Uh, the Gartley, let me clean it up. Looks terrible. Remove the ABCD. Remove the bullish pattern. Look, we did the one two off of that pattern, off of that beautiful Gartley. And target two at 10884 was it. There's confirmation at 107. So now what? Ride it until the next HSI. I mean, this is in a return phase until the next HSI. You're overbought now, but expanding. So you got a couple more hours on that. Uh, and then look at it relative to the bullish pattern. Remove the bearish. It's a type two of the alternate bat. It's, it's just a lot of, um, it's really confusing if you don't understand the one two. Type one reaction, there you did. And you come all the way back down with confirmation at 10.7. Where does this go now? Well, 10 to 31, we just hit that. Wow. Huh. Okay. 11 to 31, 88 is the target. We hit 231 and a quarter. All right. But I would still look for HSI to trigger here. 
So that's fine. And then target two, which is really what we should be anticipating because it's a secondary retest, 11.4 for now, for now. And that's give me an HSI signal in the next 24, 48 hours, like here to here. But I think that's going to, we could see a little pop up into that area, folks, because of what HSI is doing. So look at like two o'clock today, four o'clock close. That really depends on, it's going to tell you a lot about tomorrow. If this can hold up, expand, could go higher, 11.4, which is, again, 230, 200, yeah, 230 from current levels. And standard RSI is overbought right there, but hasn't rolled over, getting into the extreme. Amplified is in the extreme as well. That's the what that's really the thing to look out for into the rest of the day into tomorrow. But we're still up until that rolls over. And even if after we roll over, you're gonna need a check back. You need several more bars. So shoot that gap. That's all that's all in play for right now. We'll see what happens afterward, because if you know, again, if we don't get above 11.4. Let's say we get to 11.4 and then we start heading back down. That's This is the point where we're going to just determine what happens the rest of the year. 11.423. Is the market going to do a year-end recovery above there or do we get rejected and then we just finish the year in a nasty slide? Right now, 11.423. Um, now, S&P is better, and we've said this since the confirmation, since everything, really. Uh, go to the daily time frame on your look as a type 2 crab that isn't even close to target 1 on the daily, which is 4060. That's 200 from current levels. And because it's a target, it's a type 2, target 2 is the expected objective, or at least HSI up in here. So that's above 4,000 from where we are. The only thing you need to see in the next 24, 48 hours is break above that high. Then you would shoot the whole gap. A 39.20 or more. It just looks like, it. you know, if you get a follow-through and you get a, a relief rally off of today's news this is where uh, this could really go at least you have everything behind you in an ideal fashion couple of the big ones again microsoft it's oh let's get microsoft two thirty uh, price action with this another deep crab down here, right back at the 221 level. Uh, it's, looks like it wants to go back into a quick reaction phase 244. 231 currently. And you had terminal bar, and then two days ago was bullish yesterday continuation. Sorry, that was Friday, Thursday, Friday. Amazon. Not as nice, but sitting right below the hop. We need HSI to come out of the zone. I said that yesterday. One little pop, one bullish candle. One daily daily bullish candle is going to do it. Maybe tomorrow. I don't think today. You're at a negative 423. But you're rounding out. Look, rounding out on Amplified. Get out of the zone. HSI out of the zone. And now finally RSI out of the zone would lead to a reactive move off of that hop at 95, trading 91. 88 has to be the low. There's no going underneath here. Only problem with Amazon, a little different than some of these other techs, we haven't had one, we've had one bullish candle since the target one, and it was there. Red, 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 red. Ama I mean, it's amazing. Eight out of the nine days down. And today, can you get one bullish candle? 
you really need to break out above like 9250 for this to prove itself. And if HSI could give you a candle like right there, a little, sorry, a little arrow where they can come up, and yeah, maybe, maybe go into a reactive move. A um, couple more. Meta. We know that that weekly is like this. 97, sitting right on the hop, folks. Can't get through, but this is where we still need to be patient because your indicators are rolling over. It's a really tough spot. I mean, HSI is about to go come out of the oversold How is, or overbought. How does that work? Meanwhile, Amplified trying to get out and RSI trying to get out. Not yet. HSI has got confirmed on Amazon on TradingView. Let's look at that. Thanks for putting that up. Let me check. I'm having, you know, on the e-signal thing, I've been having issues with the data. Uh, week daily. No, no, no. Okay, thank you for mentioning that. Probably why it's not generating on the, this is happening right now. But that arrow, when you see that, it's not official until the close of the bar. Maybe that's why on eSignal, it won't print it until it actually registers. For trading view, you are, you are out. I'll have to look at that difference. It's got to be my, I think I've got my data set wrong. On, let me, I'll go back to Amazon in a second. Let me just check my data here. You might be right on that. Take a quick look. Mm, I'll go back. No, that just screwed it up. I'll investigate that later. But I'm I'm look, I'm just watching this. 9790 on Am on Meta. It's a beautiful pattern. No confirmation yet, and not a single bullish bar. Can today uh this week give us the first bullish candle because We've been down seven weeks in a row, nine out of the last 11. I don't want to jump in front of anything like that just yet. Evan's saying on the four-hour, there is confirmation. It's probably even better to keep on the four-hour because you're, you know, the we can catch reactions. I think you can catch a reaction off of here. Does it follow through for some kind of major daily weekly move? Probably not yet. But I'm respecting those big zones. They're impressive. You know, I didn't even show you guys this. Look, on the TradingView platform, the QQQ did come back. Where'd she go? And this is another thing that I'm, you know, trying to respect it, trying to give it time. It's a little butterfly here on the TradingView platform. All of that around 265. Today's day two of that retest, but no HSI down here. I mean, it's really, it's kind of tough. Anything that pops off here, well, maybe it's a reaction up to, to 289, but probably not much more than that. Is it just... You, you want to be down here with confirmation. Um, here's the bigger pattern on QQQ. It's a shark taking its time, completed all the way back in April, and just going sideways for six months. And now you got a little butterfly, like a small pattern versus a big pattern. But that has to go up. Tomorrow has to be an up day, folks. Tomorrow has to be today, tonight. You need to see follow-through on this now. There's nothing, you know, there's really nothing to follow through on uh, to the downside. Check out something like PayPal, which I find is really interesting. Bat pattern, that, you know, massive reaction. Okay, pretty big, you know, but type one, can we come back and retest type two? At least there's a pattern down there that's bullish behind the back versus some of these other ones that have not been so kind. Uh, let me go over to the diamonds quickly. Dow diamonds, the Dow itself continues to hold up. 
uh, I think just psychologically, 30,000 level is to be defended. And here's your, the big butterfly on the diamonds, several back-to-back -back patterns, remember that? Here's something interesting that's it's not an easy read, but I've got to uh, respect what's going on. Here was the reaction up to target one, target two area with HSI. And we rolled over. And, and then just we start to go back up again. What do you do there? I'm going to have to wait for the next HSI. That's, that's another market that tells me this. there's still leg here for the industrials to go up. It's been impressive. It is a two of two, and the diamonds have held, you know, impressively. If it's a butterfly type two, then your target two is always all, all the way at 345. I'm watching that. Here's a couple of Dow stocks. Disney, weekly. Oh, there's the daily. And Disney has earnings coming up. How many of these have we seen? Bat pattern. Okay, set you up for the retest to come back down, 94 area, 92. That would complete the two of two, or does it fail and go all the way to the hop? This isn't there yet. I expect Disney, is that, that's tonight, earnings tonight. Keep an eye on that. You know, that's, I thought that was interesting. The other one, um, really impressive and a perfect harmonic. Coca-Cola. Type 2, setting up. Beautiful reaction. This is textbook. And we've been saying, let this thing, it might take, it's going to take a couple weeks, but you come back to 55, that would be the last chance. I would certainly want to be all over that down at 55 for a long-term continuation from that point. You know, set you up into December and then go. Got a bunch of these that are real close. Um, some have popped. One other one, like JP Morgan, we talked about that down around 110, traded as low as 102, now 130. This is the kind of thing that can happen with these. That's why we're lining them up. I think a weekly was even better there. Where is that? Yeah, it's a weekly shark. A weekly shark on JP Morgan. Looks like maybe 150. So this is, again, these are the ones we want to be following now, this week, the post-election reaction. JP Morgan, if that does another bullish candle this week, closed by Friday, you go to 150. And then you're not too far off the all-time high. I mean, unbelievable. But that's the relative position of a lot of these markets. Not easy, especially with the ones that have gotten crushed, but separated out. Uh, really quick, I want to follow up on Nat Gas. And Nat Gas gave us a gift. And so today could be the day. Let's go back to Boyle. Remember what we talked about on boil on the four hour or it was hourly, four hour. Big jump out of the zone yesterday. Okay. We had a, a crab, a crab or a bat. I had that bat. It was, yeah, I had that bat. Now this is what we were looking for. Let the reaction come down. This case we're almost down to target two. This should be about it. As 39.69, where's HSI? Not, hasn't turned around yet. But recall, boil looks like this. Here, it's even better on this chart. The boil, it's already completed that bat pattern on the daily. Confirmation. This is just a retest of the zone. So looking in here, 37, 39, um, after yesterday, I mean, it, Pretty vicious reversal, but this is still just getting started, in my point, my opinion. This one and UNG, again, much the same. UNG here, around, it was scraping 18 bucks, uh, as high as 22. We're back at 20. Any, anywhere under this 20 level for UNG, I, I think is fair game. 
What is it? Oh, let me go to the other one and go to this chart. Those are a couple of the, you know, the immediate things really setting up that are, uh, I, I think, about to develop, about to give us that larger move. Yeah, on the hourly, that one's not ready either. UNG was the crab at 22. We were looking, let it come back to 21. This one got down almost to 19. Still no HSI yet. So, okay. Uh, four hour. Yeah, wait on this. 1849 looks like a, a a larger area for UNG under under 20. Under 20. FTT at 11 now. All right, let's jump over there before I get out of here. Thank you for posting that. What's going on? Oh, whoa! Here we go. Thank you. Who put that in there? Uh, said so. There you go. All right, we hit the hop level on FTT. Hop level on, uh, what was it? 886. Hop at 1295. 886 is there. You just hit your 886. Something must be going on. Now down 45%. Let's take a look. Where's Bitcoin? Bitcoin is, again, under, you're down to 1,200 on Bitcoin, but it has to be under 19.4. All right, let's, I got a couple more minutes to hang out here. On the weekly, daily, you got to go, what about the hourly, or even a five minute at this point? Like, let's say we're going to take a stab at 12 bucks. 1296 is your hop level. Bunch of all time 886 is right here. Is there anything here? Is there, is there a one minute reason? Is there any pattern that would say this is why? No, Gartley failed. I mean, nothing at that 886. That's amazing. Let me see. Let's just watch it like a 30 second chart. Nope. I mean, if you wanted to take a stab, 12 bucks is the place, but um, I would only trade it. I, I worry about this kind of garbage. We saw what happened to Luna. 100 plus dollars, it goes bankrupt in a day, you know, I mean, a week, a month. But most of the damage happened in a couple of days. This is what's going on here. And you don't know how paper thin this is. Why we wait for confirmation on all patterns? I mean, it's yeah. There you are. You're oversold on the daily now, but you would need two days to pop out of that zone. I, you know, twelve dollars is the number, folks. Is it worth it? You know, all time eight eight six. Go to the weekly, but that's where it should start. Yeah, I think the problem, Laser D's got it. I think the problem is really you have this Ethereum situation. You have this deal with Ethereum that has to retest. We That's why we made it number two all along, and I'll say even number one. Is Ethereum, look, it's got to come back on the daily. It looks like this. And that's that's like the guide. Treat that as like your guide, if you will. Uh, there you go. Use that Gartley and just bank on 1225. That, ha that has to get hit to kind of satisfy the whole condition. Yeah, I don't, it's not worth taking a chance, Claire. I agree. But from a larger crypto perspective, you know, Ethereum and Binance Coin, maybe Doge a little bit. Not really that impressive. No follow through. Bitcoin certainly. Uh, yeah, Binance Coin. Okay, that that could be a devastating candle for Binance Coin. Again, until the close. Look at it now. We started out. It was three fifty eight. It has to close above here and do something. If that turns into a big bearish candle, then then it's not a breakout. Wait for the close. Just hold on tight. 
We'll come back here on Thursday. Uh, you know, and maybe I got to see if, if things get crazy tomorrow. Maybe I'll, I'll jump on for a little bit. But certainly come back on Thursday and give away a couple books. Volume 2, so type in V2. And, um, you know, follow this session. Review all the levels. We started out with crypto today. I think we know the big levels on the markets in, in general. But uh, if crypto is going to give you problems, it's going to be now. If they're going to resolve them, it better be now. But we'll come back Thursday, 12 noon. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate the patience on the start today. Again, as always, go get them. If you have any questions, reach out to me through the Discord or Basic Members page. Otherwise, we'll catch you Thursday, 12 noon. Have a great one.